there's the tools I'll be using to do the background work and to detail out the oak leaves that I cut in. On the left there is the Berry King swivel knife. Next to that is a pear-shaped bruiser. And then I've got uh, two uh, veiners there, a small one and a somewhat larger one. And then the three craft tool bevelers that I'll be using. I'll be using the um, medium-sized one there in the uh, the middle of the three bevelers there. That's the one I'll be using the most. And then I have that uh, um, maul right there that I'll be using. Tilling a design like this should be fun and you can kind of relax when you do this, especially if it's a piece of uh, practice. Um, you should be able to have some fun with your uh, carving techniques. And uh, it's good practice to do that also. Like one day I sat down and just started carving. And it's amazing how relaxing that is. And uh, I just kept going until I had it all filled up there. This leather is still damp from um, cutting in the design. So now I'm going to take... Uh, my three bevelers, and the one I'll be using the most is this uh, craft tool. It's a B802. I'll bevel around everything here, and then I'll come back with the next size bigger, the, um, uh, the B803, and um, bevel in the border there. Once I do that, I'll um, bruise the uh, leaves here and then I'll uh, vein up the center of the uh, stem right there. And um, after all that's said and done, I can do some uh, background work uh, with another craft tool to kind of give the uh, background a matte finish. So I've got, um, let's see, I've got six tools here with the addition of a background tool. That'd be seven tools that you can do some amazing work with. So don't hesitate to try it, and don't worry about if you don't have just a drawer full of tools. I wouldn't even worry about that because you can do some amazing things with just simple tools. I've got a weight here. It's got, well, it's a piece of lead. It's got leather, a leather-covered bottom. That's what I kind of use to hold my leather in place while I'm doing my beveling. And I use this uh, maul right here. And I'll see if I can show you a little bit on how to bevel. Just use little light taps, taps there on the edge of your uh, oak leaf. And then I'll hit the center of that acorn and then bevel around it. And in no time at all, I'll have all this beveled. Once that's beveled, I'll come in here with the pear-shaped bruiser and uh, I just kind of lean that tool up, tap that like that, and that kind of mashes the leaf area down. Now I can see I need to come right here in the center here and... Uh, bevel that stem right there. Go back and smooth it up a little bit. Now I can take, um, I'm kind of jumping around here just a little bit, but that kind of shows you how to, to bevel and then bruise your leaves. And then I'll come right up the center with this veiner and just like, I've got the tool lean, it's heavier in the center and lighter on the outside. Sometimes I'll hit it light, heavy, light, heavy, and that kind of gives that a shading effect. So that gives you a little overview of um, how to lay out a border, how to freehand your oak leaves or whatever design you've got, and uh, lay it out within a space you're working in there and then come in there and bevel around everything. 
and uh, bruise your leaves, shade the center, or any other shading you might do. Once that's all done, I will come back and put some decorative cut marks in the center of the leaf here, fix the acorn cap, and then um, at that time I'll come back and do the background work.